So almost a year from now, I made a video titled How to make the perfect pixel art camera, which basically tackled a very common problem with viewport rendering. So the camera 2D node with smoothing enabled on viewports doesn't mix well together. So if you want the best of both worlds, let me show you how easy it is to do this. Flash forward to right now, and I'm currently working on another project also in viewport because enhance. Yeah. To cut the story short, let's just say the old method isn't enough anymore. Which isn't to say the old way was bad or anything. All of these things that are happening are because of the way the game is currently being rendered. In the viewport render mode, which I'm currently using, we have a given resolution for our game which makes up this pixel grid on your screen. Every pixel in our game is then forced to render on this grid regardless of the resolution of your screen. Which helps to keep this retro style that I personally like. Everything from the player's position snapping perfectly to the environment, to the lights but not the camera. The general jitteriness of the viewport camera made me feel kind of defeated for about three months. Until I saw a video by Plugworld showing something really cool in Godot. Now, to combine the low resolution, high resolution pixel art, we're going to use something called a viewport. This viewport is going to render out different resolution back up to our base resolution of our screen. Which got me thinking. What if there was a way you could render your game in its pixel art style, but somehow snap the camera to the resolution of your screen? Well, there is a way, and I'm currently using it for my game, so I guess I'm going to use the rest of this video to explain how it works. So first things first, I've put together a pretty scuffed pixel art scene to play around with. I'll be using these settings for this experiment. I can start my game now and fall to my impending doom. Ah, I forgot to add the ground collisions. So running the game in the viewport mode with no changes done to the camera gives you something like this. The camera moves as smoothly as the player does and stops super abruptly. Now, you might probably want to fix this by going in and enabling smoothing on the camera, but that kind of just brings out the worst of the situation. Everything becomes very jittery and shaky, and it becomes even more noticeable when, let's say, you add parallax effects to your game. So, let's fix the camera. In Godot, there are basically two main render modes, viewports and 2D. Unlike viewports, the 2D render mode renders the game at the resolution of the screen, which means the camera's position is also snapped to that resolution. Meaning, I'll somehow have to yoink the 2D camera and slap it onto my viewport game. To do this, first I'll add a node as a parent of the game scene, then add a sub viewport as a sibling. Then I'll set the size of the sub viewports to the resolution of my game, and just plop my game scene in there, which should make everything disappear. To get our game back on screen, I'll add a texture rect and render whatever is going on in the viewports to that. To orient it correctly, I'll enable vflip in the render target of the sub viewports and to fix the lights, I'll change the usage to 2D. So anything under the sub viewports will be all pixelated and anything outside of that will be rendered to any given resolution, in the editor at least. To make sure this happens while running the game, I'll change the render mode to 2D. And now you can do some really crazy stuff with this. Like this. Or this. Okay, cool. But this doesn't actually fix the camera you, you might, might be thinking. And well, let's add a camera outside of the sub viewports. I put the new camera and our viewport texture under a node to group them. Then I added a remote transform node as a child of the camera in our sub viewports and linked it to the parents of our viewport texture. Next I added a script to the viewport texture to keep itself centered. But some of our game is being cut off so I added some pixels to the viewports for some breathing room. And there you have it, the perfect pixel art camera. Now, what are some added benefits to choosing this method of handling your pixel art? Uh, well, you can decide what sprites get pixelated and snap to the pixel grid. You can even bring out your parallax layers from the sub viewports and have them render as smooth as the camera moves. 
If you enjoyed this video, you're probably going to want to know more about Infinite Sky and how I use images to place tile maps. Thank you guys for watching and bye. Just make you cry And I don't wanna fight with